Fast Cock Funk here, and we took the Hot Tub Time Machine back to 1993, and the trip was worth it. This is Lemon Basil Swordfish. It's actually from a 1993 magazine, Bon Appetit, the October issue, I think. But that year was a creative awakening, not just for the people on the squad, but for people in general. People started to cook a lot more at home. It was the birth of TV chefs, the birth of new different styles of cooking, um, but also creativity across the country. It was blowing all the way up. Wu-Tang dropped 36 Chambers. Janet Jackson dropped Janet, which was a pretty tight album. Smashing Pumpkins had a Siamese Dream. Radiohead, Pablo Honey. Everything was blowing up creatively. So we're doing an homage to that and making a really beautiful dish that's great in the summer, great in the fall, great for the people. Let's fall in love with it together, y'all. Now the star of this dish is swordfish, a swordfish steak. Now these are beautiful, right? And they go a good inch and a half thick. They're great for grilling, but they need some help with the flavor because while it's a meaty, good, juicy piece of fish, it doesn't have a ton of flavor to it. So we're gonna make a marinade for First, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna start with a half cup of a really good olive oil, extra virgin, three tablespoons of fresh lemon juice, three tablespoons of Dijon mustard, three cloves of crushed fresh garlic. Now we're gonna whisk that up till we get it evenly the same color, smooth. All right, now once we've got it that color, we are gonna take a cup and a half of basil leaves, right? Ball them up like this in your hand, and what you can do is take them and like roll them up, zigzag style, and chop them up. Then take them all, put it in your marinade, because we want a lot of that basil flavor in it. So we're gonna stir that up evenly. You're gonna let it marinate for three hours, but don't go longer than that because what's gonna happen is then the lemon juice will start to really start to affect, basically cook the fish and we don't want that. So we're gonna put this into a Ziploc bag, take our beautiful piece of fish, get it in there, make sure you cover it evenly so it sits in there all beautiful like. Three hours, no longer. Now, before we go, we got our grill going and we're gonna do a few things. We're gonna take some lemons, we're gonna cut them in half, and we're gonna grill them. So we're serving it with lemon, but we're gonna grill them face down. So we get a cool little effect of the grilled lemon on the plate, which is always nice. So we'll get a couple of those guys together. Some people ask though, how do you keep fish from not sticking to your grill? And it's a hard thing to do. Some people use cooking spray, which is fine. You can also take paper towels with olive oil, that also works. But another way to do it too, is take something that complements the fish flavor like a white onion. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna slice the white onion into kind of discs and rings, and we're actually gonna cook the fish on top of that. So the onion might get stuck to the grill, but then we still get the heat and some more flavor too on this awesome fish. Now before we're done, we're just gonna take the fish one time and put it onto the grill just to get a little bit of a grill mark because now at this point, it's not gonna stick. Just want a couple grill marks. Now, you have some perfect fish. And we'll take one, hit it with a little more of the juice. Yeah. Now, now we got these beautiful, beautiful swordfish. Got the grilled lemons. We're gonna take some basil leaves because they're just pretty. And when you have pretty fish like this, celebrating 1993 creativity in your life, you want something fresh and different, Holler at your boys, because that's how we do. Now, let's take a bite of this. Cooked perfectly, juicy, look at that. It's a fish with a sword for a nose, swordfish. That's what's up.